Hi friends, welcome back to Meghna's Gallery. Today we are up with some calligraphy and I really fascinated this. I have been doing this a lot lately and this is really cool. I mean, if you see every single stroke has to be individual like when I write morning I finish my M and then O rather than generally we write in cursive writing we don't go connected while writing for calligraphy because every single letter ends starts and ends with different different uh, strokes if you see O started at some point and then while connecting it has to be in a different way and the same way so take your time um, while writing a calligraphy letters just write your normal normal lettering and then we can adjust it if something is um, like some curves are not well or if you think M is a bit stretched or um, squeezed don't worry about it at all because in overall look it doesn't look uh, as bad as we generally think it will so go ahead give it a try it's really fun when you see the downward strokes are all being bolded there and the upward strokes are generally very very thin so downward strokes are nothing but when you write um, how do I say when you when I write a, a small letter B when you start from the top till bottom it's going to be thicker when it comes to the bottom but j just like L when it goes on to the top it will be very thin and while coming down it will have a, a bag on the bottom so let's see how it works when I write believe you will see it better on what exactly I'm trying to convey here we'll start with BC the B bottom is going to be a bit bold and then E bold the same works with L all of them when they come down they're gonna be go bolded and they look really cool on a uh, longer shot Take your time slow down when i was writing and if you see i while writing in, in the letter i stretched it out so i had to cover it up with um the downward stroke so this um nothing right or wrong here it's more like to whatever you feel I think I'm happy with this look so I'm gonna add some uh, florals to this now just to give that um, generally we see the calendar looks and everything isn't it so the same calligraphy kind of stroke I'm just shading one side of the flower petals a bit bold practicing will um, this this sort of things will really really help us because they'll give you a lot of idea in different kinds of practices and then um, you will know like see one leaf I, I did it in complete um, a full full black and then the other one I did only half shaded and I wanted to try one more um, with um, only only strokes couple of lines in fact scribbles I should say This is really easy, easy stuff. I'm gonna add one more flower here. Um, same pattern, so. These leaves are gonna be um, scribbles like this. That's what I meant. Um, see, I'm not fully covering it the mark.
keeping on going um, I'm gonna add a couple of butterflies here so let's start with this little one here they really complete any picture I feel After this I'm gonna add one more and there you go just one more here and then I'm gonna start with my um, another florals I mean I love this one so I just want to try with another pattern maybe this one like this an open flower where we can actually shade I'm following the same pattern like about just making it bold onto one side Um, though we have seen doing this leaves I didn't want to edit this because this is so much relaxing if you see um, in doing this and as well as observing it uh, and how it happens so if you if you just feel like we have already seen this just skip forward um, We can literally add on to any kind of flowers you want. I mean, there is an, another example um, there you can see. So there are three types of flowers which we can keep adding and then shading, coloring will always give a new effect. Here I'm just um, literally stroking my pen upwards just very lightly. And then there you go. I think um, I'll keep on adding a couple of more branches I and mean, then leaves or more flowers or maybe buds i think i'll go ahead with that yeah, it's coloring time what is i just here is generally <laughs> To, since we have used a lot of um, uh, pen mark if you see this black color smudge coming through so give it more time for it to dry out since I'm doing it on, on um, continuation process I didn't stop here um, still I'm very happy with whatever effect that came through so I wanted to be having a gradient here the darker shade onto the bottom and then the lighter in the middle so wherever you want the dark shade you're gonna go apply more um, more pigment and then wherever you want a bit lighter shade go on come add some more water just to wash my brush I'm using this water but for the fresh ones I'm gonna I'm dipping it from another uh, another um, cup of water so always use fresh cup of water to mix your colors and use the same cup of water to wash your brush that's the, that's that works better with our uh, watercolors all the very time and if you see the butterflies are also losing some <laughs> black color here but I'm sorry about that I should have taken more time um, but I was too excited that I wanted to finish this 
but overall when you see it it dried up really well I'm trying on different colors here I generally play with a lot of colors and then see with mixing and everything Uh, generally 300 gsm paper is really really good for um, watercolors or acrylics you don't really have to go back to canvases and then it's storing is also very hard so we can actually comfortably get a 300 gsm um, a paper and then you can start painting on it, it doesn't curl up as easily as um, a normal paper would so i would suggest using a 300 gsm one if not 300 one at least for the practice uh, to 160 or 200 is really good I wanted to go something really dark and bright here so I started up with red I, I never really used this complete bright red before so I'm gonna see how it works with a nice shade whether it, it's gonna look this bright or it's gonna fade up to another sort what I have in mind so don't get really scared on this red here it looks really really bright but uh, when it ended up uh, dried up I mean it, it really looked uh, cool on on, on the uh, picture so this looks really strong here there you go that's how it's it, it looked uh, at the moment but when it dried up it's gonna be like this and then I kept on adding more and more as you can see more birds and then more um, leaves around a little a little flower around and this is another version which I'm gonna do again thanks for watching I hope you really enjoyed this video please do like and subscribe if you like thank you leave a comment on anything that you wanted to you wanted me to make or any doubts about this thanks so much bye